Roy Simpson, and I'm a professor of mathematics at Cosumnes River College in Sacramento, California. This is another proof in my series on proofs in differential calculus, and this is probably uh, likely your second proof into hyperbolic functions. Um, and I have a list of theorems here. Uh, I will go ahead and hand pick one of these. I don't really care which one. Um, I suppose most of these, like for example, these, this cinch of x plus y is equal to business. Um, that usually is given to students as a homework problem. I don't want to do your homework problems for you. So instead, I'm going to do one of these that's usually done in class. Um, and they do this to kind of show you uh, how you will approach all your proofs in this, uh, with this uh, material. The prerequisite knowledge you'll need before doing one of these proofs is uh, knowledge of hyperbolic functions, specifically uh, their um, exponential forms. And uh, you'll also probably therefore need to know about exponential functions. Now we're not doing anything with derivatives right now, so that's not that big of a deal. You don't need to worry about the derivatives yet, but you definitely should know what the hyperbolic functions are. Now, like I said, I'm only going to go ahead and do the cinch of negative x is equal to negative cinch of x, but all the other proofs really roll the same way here. You start with cinch of in this case, negative x. Uh, if you were going to go ahead and do any of the other ones, you would start with whatever you're given there and then transform them using your knowledge of their exponential forms into the exponential forms. So the exponential form of the cinch, I'll go ahead and write it up here, the cinch of x itself is normally e to the x minus e to the negative x over all that over 2. So if I were to plug in a negative x in for those x's, I would get e to the, instead of x, negative x, minus e to the, instead of a negative x, it'd be the opposite of a negative x, which is a positive x. And that's all over 2. And I can factor a negative coefficient out of that numerator. And if I do, I will get the following, uh, a negative e to the negative x plus e to the x. I'm kind of doing it slowly just so you can see. And then I'll rewrite that. That is going to equal uh, negative e to the positive x minus e to the negative x over 2. And this is negative cinch. Again, cinch of x, the hyperbolic sign. So that's the proof of cinch of negative x is negative cinch of x. These, all these proofs are fair game on any type of exam. Uh, you, it, actually, they're probably best on exams. This is what students generally hope for, for examinations, because these are very fast to work with. Um, maybe not specifically these down here, because they take, they're take they a little more complex, but not that much more complex. Um, you just have to do a lot of multiplications and kind of combine like terms, that type of thing. All right, we're done. Maybe I should put a little QED. Oh, but...